Hi, I'm Brian Propp. I'm here for my first treatment at Oxygen Oasis. Brian, I'm Libby. Welcome back to Oxygen oh. Oasis. Nice to meet you. I just have some paperwork for you to fill out prior to seeing the doctor. Just a medical history form and some consents. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Mr. Pop, you can come this way. Oh, thank you. Hi, Brian. I'm Dr. Scott Rosenthal, and today I'm going to perform a history and physical examination on you to make sure it's okay to proceed with hyperbaric oxygen treatments. Any questions? No. When we see a patient for the first time who is contemplating undergoing hyperbaric oxygen treatment, we have to perform a history and physical to get the background on their condition and to make sure that there are no contraindications to performing hyperbaric oxygen treatment. An example of a contraindication or something that we would have to proceed more cautiously with would be a history of a pneumothorax or collapsed lung, uh, some kind of inner ear surgery or history of a perforated eardrum. Because when we give hyperbaric oxygen treatment, the patient is exposed to this pressure of a dive, we have to make sure that all the organ systems are safe to undergo this. Dense cataracts uh, in the eyes would be something that would make us cautious as well as if someone recently had trauma or perforation to one of their eardrums. We take a complete history and elicit all the medications that they're taking to make sure that none of the medicines would interfere with the hyperbaric oxygen treatment, such as some of the chemotherapy medications. Jason is our technician and he's just recording everything from the examination. Brian, it's safe to proceed with hyperbaric oxygen treatment. And for your condition, uh, we would start with 40 treatments at a depth of 17 feet. I'm gonna show you around the uh, hyperbaric chamber a little bit. Over here we have two varieties of chambers here. This is our multi-chamber. This is one you're probably most uh, using. And we have our mono chambers over here. The best thing about this Oxygen Oasis, we have the best of both worlds. Same exact treatment from both. The only difference is in here you get your oxygen through a mask. For okay. your treatment in here, you're kind of bathing in the oxygen. So that's uh, two different things, but you're 100% oxygen all times in both chambers. And here you have more freedom. You can bring a newspaper, you can bring a book. Some people like to draw. In fact, if I have a patient right now, it's kind of listening to music and relaxing. Yeah. So it's a very unique situation. And on your protocol, we usually dive for people with the stroke protocol, about 17 feet, which if you think about it, is like a pool and a half. Okay. Or if you go into more technical terms, 1.5 atmospheres, 1.5 ATA, but to keep it simple, look at, think about a pool and a half, about okay. 17 feet down. Not too bad, but still to make sure you're clearing your ears, make sure it's comfortable as possible in there. We give you water to help with that. And now I heard you have a sleep apnea. Yes. So you wear a mask? Yes. Perfect. Then you'll probably be very comfortable here because yeah. a lot of times patients can choose masks. We also have a hood. One other thing I'd like to mention, that's to make you comfortable. There's a tender in there at all times, so you're never alone in this chamber. So you always have something in this case, not comfortable, I'm not feeling good, hey, my ears are hurting, there's something there at all times, safety. A couple other things about the multi-chamber. When you're ascending and descending, your total treatment time for you, probably about an hour and 24 minutes, maybe hour and a half at the most. Reason for that, I need about 10 to 12 minutes to get you to your uh, pressure level, ascend and descent time. You're actually having an hour on the oxygen for 60 okay. minutes with your mask on. And also sometimes when um, temperatures can be a little cold when you're, uh, coming up from the pressure because the pressure's coming out. Like think about like me squeezing your finger, for example. Yeah. I'm squeezing, yeah. pressure causes heat. I release when you're coming up, oh. it gets colder. Sure. That's why I like to look at this as squeezing of the fingers for the temperature up and down. And again, we have a timer counting down, so I know when you know, you're gonna treatment's gonna be up, so you, everything's in control. And again, we have the nice cameras there. So keep everything in control and we're always on top of you guys. Good. So again, this is the piece of paper I handed to you, a little pamphlet in the exam room. This, everything you want to know about hyperbarics, but you might have forgotten if we went over the review of today. So again, this is a kind of a 401 recap. So okay. any other questions you might have uh, pertaining to the treatment? No, I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. When patients come into the hyperbaric chamber room, we give them their scrubs, they go in the change room and change out their street clothes. From there, we take their vital signs, which encompasses their blood pressure, their pulse ox, and also check their ears. 
Checking ears is very important to make sure that they can handle the pressure throughout their treatment. If the patient is diabetic, we will check their blood sugar pre and post, and from there, we'll take the patient to the chamber where the first medical responder will greet them, give them a comfortable blanket and a pillow, and a water bottle. The next important part of uh, the hyperbaric treatment is picking out a movie. Make sure the patient you has know, something to make the time go by. From there, I will communicate with the tender emerging medical technician throughout the treatment via phone and video camera. Always making sure the patient knows that the tender medical technician and I are always there for them if they need anything. It's a team effort. Of course, when they're uh, done their treatment, bring them out. Um, always check them as soon as open the door. How are you doing? Always make, establish dialogue right away so they're on there. And then take their vital signs again. Blood pressure, pulse ox, check the ears. And from there, they're getting changed. Um, and uh, they're on their way. Day one complete. I'm looking forward to my results. Thanks. How was your first treatment? It was great. Good, I'm glad. Here's a copy of your treatment plan from today along with the information we gave you at the beginning of your visit. So you're free to take this home with you and we'll see you Wednesday for your appointment. Thank you. See you Wednesday. Take care.